Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a very special trip to the zoo. Here we are. Caillou looked at the map of the zoo. He could see lots of pictures of all the different animals. Which animals do you want to go and see first, Caillou? Let's go and see the elephant! Great choice, Caillou! Where is it, Mommy? Caillou looked for the elephant, but he couldn't see it anywhere. <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Caillou liked the elephant. He especially liked the noise that it made. <laughs> Can we get a pet elephant? <laughs> I don't think we have room for an elephant at home, Caillou. They're much too big. Look! The mommy and the daddy lion are sleeping. Would you like me to take your picture, Caillou? Yes, please! Say cheese! Help! Don't worry, Caillou. It's just a baby lion. I think he wants to play with you. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> I did it! Hi, I'm Linda. What's your name? I'm Caillou, and this is my sister Rosie. Hello, Caillou. Hello, Rosie. Would you like to come and feed the monkeys with me? Yes, please. <laughs> Caillou was very excited. He'd never fed a monkey before. These monkeys love to eat fruit and vegetables. Why don't you and Rosie put some on that rock for them? Look! They're eating it! Hey! My hat! Monkey! They also love to play. <laughs> Caillou, come down from that tree. We have to go home soon. I'm down here, Daddy. That's just a monkey. Oh, there you are, Caillou. Look what I found, Caillou. It's an elephant. This one is just the right size to come and live at home with us. Caillou had loved his day at the zoo, and he was very happy to have his very own elephant to take home. Today, Caillou was having a play date with Clementine. They were playing king and queen of the castle. Hello. I am King Caillou. What's your name? I'm Queen Clementine. It's nice to meet you, King Caillou. What are all those boxes for, Daddy? Mr. Daniels down the street is moving house, so we're letting him borrow these boxes. Caillou thought that the boxes looked like big building blocks. I know. How about we build our own castle? That's a great idea, Caillou. You can be the king, and I can be the queen. 
I'm going to build the walls. I'm going to build the tower. There, our castle is finished. Lower the drawbridge, Clem. Hello, King Caillou. Shall we go to the top of the tower? We can see the whole kingdom from up there. Okay. Wow, we're so high up. From the top of the tower, King Caillou and Queen Clementine could see for miles around in every direction. It's so beautiful. This is the best kingdom ever. Let's go and sit on our thrones. As King Caillou and Queen Clementine entered the throne room, they were shocked to find that somebody was already sitting there. Hey, you can't sit there. Only a king or queen can sit on the throne. Me queen, me queen. Oh, <laughs> it's you, Rosie. Rosie, you can't be the queen. Clementine is the queen. It's okay, Rosie. You can be the princess. There, pretty. Oh, the castle is under attack! It's a giant! Okay, playtime's over. We have to take these boxes to Mr. Daniels now. Oh, but we were playing king and queen! It's okay, King Caillou. I'll bring them back for you to play with once Mr. Daniels is finished with them. Yay! Caillou had loved being the king, and he couldn't wait to build another castle with his friends. <laughs> Caillou is going swimming with Mommy and Daddy. Here we are, Caillou. Are you ready to practice your swimming? Caillou checked that he was wearing both his armbands. They would help him stay afloat. Yup! Caillou looked around and was very excited to see a slide leading right into the pool. Look, Mommy! A slide! Wait, Caillou! Caillou, you mustn't run at the pool. It can be very wet and you could slip and fall down. Look here. See? Rule number one. No running. Caillou wanted to be safe at the pool. Sorry, I just wanted to see the slide. It's okay, Caillou. Now, let's take a look. Caillou climbed up the ladder and sat at the top of the slide. Come on, Caillou. I'll be right here to catch you when you land in the pool. Caillou looked down at Mommy in the pool. But now he was up here, it looked an awfully long way to the bottom. I got too scared. It was a lot higher than I thought it would be. Never mind, Caillou. Let's go into the pool from the shallow end. Caillou climbed down the ladder into the pool to join Daddy. That water was just the right height for him to stand on the bottom. Better? Much better. Look, Mommy! I'm swimming! Very good, Caillou. How about you try to swim to Daddy? Caillou swam towards Daddy. That's it, Caillou! Just a little further. I made it! All by myself! You certainly did. Caillou watched as Mommy swam under the water. He was very impressed. Ta-da! Caillou wanted to try and swim underwater, too, but his armbands wouldn't let him sink. Caillou, you can't go underwater with your armbands on. Shall I hold on to them for you? Caillou wasn't ready to take off his armbands just yet. 
It's okay. I'll go under the water <laughs> another day. <laughs> hey, no running! Hi there. What's your name? Caillou! Hi, Caillou. I'm the lifeguard. My job is to make sure everyone is safe at the pool. If I see anyone being unsafe, I blow this whistle. I saw those children running over there. That's against the rules. That's right. And thank you for calling out to them. Caillou remembered what Daddy told him about running at the pool. If you run at the pool, you could slip and fall over. Exactly. Here. Now you can be a lifeguard, too. But only blow it if you see someone breaking the rules, okay? Caillou felt very proud to be a lifeguard. Say, have you tried the water slide yet? It's lots of fun. I tried, but I got scared. It's okay to be scared, but a brave lifeguard like you has nothing to worry about. Well, I guess I could have another try. Great! And don't worry, I'll be watching to make sure nothing unexpected happens. Caillou climbed up the ladder once more. It still looked a long way down. I'm here, Caillou. Caillou was ready. He counted to three and then pushed himself down the slide. One, two, three! Oh, Caillou, you did it! What a brave lifeguard you are! That was amazing! Did you see the big splash I made? Can I do it again? Daddy, the pool rules said no grown-ups on the slide! Caillou was very happy. He would never be scared to go down the slide at the pool again. Explorer Caillou and his friends were on a rescue mission to save Teddy. She's getting away! Faster, guys! Caillou, no catch Rosie! Rosie, too fast! Leo was struggling to keep his dinosaur under control. How do you steer these things? You guys look like you've got yourself in quite a tangle there. What have you been up to? Cave girl Rosie has stolen Teddy. We are trying to catch her on our pet dinosaurs and save Teddy. Well, that does sound like quite the adventure, kids. You better get back to it. Sarah and Clementine wanted to catch up with cave girl Rosie to save Teddy. But they knew they had to think of a plan. I can see her going over the mountain past the clearing to the north. Maybe that's where her cave is. Nice spot, Clem. Let's draw out the island and we can figure out the best way to get to the cave. We're here. And the cave girl has escaped back to her cave on the other side of the mountain. To get there, we need to pass the quicksand lake and the river. We don't have to ride the dinosaurs again, do we? I think we should go on foot so we can sneak up and catch Ro... I mean, the cave girl. Let's go! <laughs> the team of explorers came across some quicksand. Caillou thought this was going to be tricky, but Clementine had an idea. Then they crossed a river, which was very wide and very deep. Sarah spotted some stepping stones they could use to safely cross. Watch out, Blue! 
and his explorer friends had finally arrived. They were so close to finishing their rescue mission. Cave girl Rosie was fast asleep, snuggled up to Teddy by the campfire of her cave. There she is! And there is Teddy! We need to move in slowly and quietly. We don't want to wake her. Leo! Leo, wait! I got him! Guys, I saved Teddy! <laughs> That's not good! Look! Caillou and his explorer friends rode through the jungle trying to get back home safe. Over the mountain, through the river, and across the quicksand. But the Gilbertosaurus Rex wouldn't stop chasing them. Then, Leo had an idea. You did it, Leo! The team of explorers had saved the day and rescued Teddy. It was time for them to rest up before their next adventure. Caillou and Rosie had spent the whole morning shopping for groceries with Mommy and Daddy. So as a special treat, they had taken them to the toy store to buy one toy each to take home. Wow! Look how many toys there are, Rosie! Toys! Toys! Remember, just one toy each, okay? Look! Squishy balls! They just look like regular balls. What's so special about them? They're really cool. When you squeeze them, they change color. But you never know which color you're going to get. Yellow one. I want yellow one. Caillou could see that Rosie was still too little to reach the squishy balls by herself. Here you go, Rosie. Say thank you, Rosie. Thank you. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, squeeze! Wow, you were right, Caillou. They do change color. Is this the toy you want, Caillou? Caillou thought that the squishy balls were really fun, but he wanted to look at some other toys before he made up his mind. Maybe we should look around a bit more first. There might be something better over there. Caillou could see a girl playing with a toy he'd never seen before. Hi! What's that toy you're playing with? It's a fidget spinner. You hold it between your fingers and spin it. Once it's spinning, you can do cool tricks, like balance it on the end of your finger. Here, you try. Caillou took hold of the fidget spinner and spun it between his fingers. He could hear it making a little whizzing sound. Great! Now, try to balance it on one finger. Looks like you need some practice. Never mind, Caillou. Let's try again. Ready? I'm going to let go now. I'm doing it, Mommy! Look how it spins! It's like an airplane! Great job, Caillou! Caillou, come and look at this! It's a spaghetti-making machine. First, we have to choose a color for the spaghetti. 
But I thought spaghetti was always brown. This is special spaghetti. It can be any color we like. Caillou had never heard of different colored spaghetti before. Wow! Even blue? Of course. Yellow! Yellow! Thank you, Rosie. Now we can have multicolored spaghetti for dinner. Caillou watched as Daddy placed the blue and yellow dough inside the spaghetti machine. It's ready. All you have to do is press down on that lever. Wow! It really does make spaghetti! It looks delicious! <laughs> Sorry, Caillou. It's not real spaghetti. It's just for playing with. <laughs> What's the point of spaghetti if we can't eat it? Whoa! Did you see that? Hi there, I'm Jesse. Hi, I'm Caillou. I was trying to catch that truck, but it was too fast. Oh, you were very close. I almost crashed trying to escape you. So you were driving it. Can you teach me? You make the truck go forward by holding down that button there. And you turn it with those buttons there. Great job, but be careful. If you go too fast, it might crash. Whoops, I'm sorry. That's okay, you almost had it. Help you? There you are, Caillou. You shouldn't run off like that. We didn't know where you were. Sorry. I was learning to drive the truck, but I crashed. Well, at least you're helping clean up the mess you made. Caillou could hear something rattling around inside the eggs. Hey! There's something in there! What is it? It's a surprise. Each egg has a different toy inside, and sometimes it even has sweets and stickers. Caillou thought that the surprise egg sounded amazing. Mommy, I want a surprise egg! <laughs> Good choice. I think Rosie has decided too. Okay, here I go! What surprise did you get, Caillou? I got some colorful sweets, some smiley stickers, and a toy truck! Amazing! Caillou was very happy with his surprise egg. Now he could practice driving at home. <laughs>